In other news, Toronto police are searching for at least one suspect in connection with anti-Semitic graffiti around the greater Toronto area. Police were called to the Beth Shalom Synagogue in Midtown after graffiti was discovered yesterday. Police say the incident is being treated as a hate crime. At least two other incidents were reported on Wednesday at a school and a bus shelter, but police have not linked them together. A photo has been released showing a suspect wanted in connection with the incident at the synagogue. Joining me now is Michael Levitt. He's the president and CEO of Friends of Simon Wiesenthal Center. Uh, good to have you on the program tonight. Thank you very much for having me. Why do you think we're seeing a rise in instances of anti-Semitic or anti-Semitic vandalism in the GTA so recently? This is part of a longer term problem, I have to tell you. It's, it's something we've been seeing uh, when we look at the Toronto uh, police hate crime statistics for 2020. There was a 50% rise in total cases. Um, and the largest group impacted was the Jewish community. So sadly, this is not news to a lot of us in the Jewish community, but the brazenness of uh, the swastika, the most hateful of all anti-Semitic symbols, being spray painted on a synagogue in the middle of our city, mm. um, this is uh, something that really has reached uh, you know I, 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 a lot of people and impacted a lot of people in the local community and beyond. We were getting messages uh, from across Canada today, and I know that Rabbi Aaron Flansreich, the senior rabbi for Beth Shalom, was also receiving um, calls of support from uh, from around the country. Yeah. And that's good to see. I guess that's the silver lining, is that the, the outpouring of support uh, is strong. It is, but it's, uh, you know, it's just tragic that we have to be dealing with this in the first place. And, uh, you know, certainly it's the continuation of a pattern that we've seen over the last 48 hours. Uh, we, we, uh, we saw in Montreal just two days ago two Jewish candidates, Anthony Housefather and Rachel Bendayan, had their uh, election signs uh, vandalized with the swastika. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a very direct message for Jews. Um, it doesn't get more hateful than the swastika on Jewish buildings. Uh, we had a, a school north of Toronto in Thornhill also that was vandalized yesterday. Uh, we had bus shelters also vandalized where there was an ad um, to, you know, pushing back against Jew hate. These are, are very targeted and, uh, again, the most brazen is on a, an institution of prayer, on a synagogue. Uh, that gets to the very heart of the Jewish community.